We do one, two, three, four. In this exercise, another picking angle comes into play. Before we had the angle where we bend, twist the thumb on the accents, and we come at the string at a 45 degree angle, sort of flat to the string, slicing through on an angle for less resistance. The other angle we had already played was the angle where the pick is pointing upward so that when you pluck the string, you're going down into the guitar. And when you, on the down stroke, into the wood, to the top, then on the up stroke, you're coming up. The opposite angle of that can be done, especially if you don't want other strings to be heard. For example, when we have all these notes being played on the first string, we didn't want to hear the second string. <clears throat> so the angle I chose to use there, instead of pointing the pick that way, I went the inverse and I pointed it the opposite direction. So for that, I still had my 45 degree angle, but I was I was not pointing, plucking out, but in, in a another 45 degree angle. So you start almost from underneath the string and pluck outwards. It makes your, your upstrokes to be a little bit stronger. And it also creates this resting stroke where you come back and you rest on the second string above the string you just played on the upstroke. So down, up, and if you look closely on the down, up, we rest on the string above. So it gives you a very free angle to approach a string with a pick. Direct on the pick can be done, but you have more resistance and um, it has its own difficulties there for this sort of single string playing where we want to um, work in an ergonomic way where we cut down on difficulty. Especially on increasing speed. To maximum speeds, having an ergonomic picking technique approach makes it more possible and more comfortable to do.